the IMO cuts during active times. And those active times are determined at the time of installation, but can also be modified based on user preference or also seasonal weather patterns. For example, in spring, when it is raining more and the grass is growing faster, it's helpful to have more active time available for the IMO to cut. The other aspect that can be adjusted is the mowing duration, which is essentially the amount of hours per week that the IMO cuts. Let's take a look at how we can adjust both the active times and the mowing duration. We're gonna assume that it is spring and the grass is growing faster, so we need to increase our mowing du duration and our active times. From the main menu, we're gonna select mowing plan. Here's a breakdown of the current active time schedule for each day. There's Each day shows three columns, except for Thursday, there's only two. So that means that there's three active times for each day, except Thursday only has two active times. Let's take a look at Monday. Right now, Monday, the IMO will go out and cut two in the morning to five in the morning, seven to 1.30, or three to 10.40. Here we can simply highlight which one we want to modify and click OK. We could delete the active time, remove it, or we could change it. So change it. 7 o'clock to 1.30. We're gonna, if you wanted to go to 3.30 or 4.30, you change it like that. And simply press OK again. OK. There, your active time has been saved. So after you go through and make your changes, you know, maybe on Thursday here, we only had two, we could do a new active time and place that time in there. If at any point you enter a wrong value, you can simply click the, the back button here to take you back to where you were. And use your back button to go back. Now down at the bottom, you can see there's a mowing duration. So if I just arrow down and highlight mowing duration, click OK. I can change the mowing duration. This is ideal right now in spring. Get that, get a few extra hours. We recommend bumping it up at least 10 hours if you're noticing that it isn't quite, that the IMO isn't keeping up with the length of the grass. And then you can just toggle up or down based on how many hours you'd like to have it cutting. Click okay. And that's all that there is to it. Come back to the main menu and if you have your IMO on the docking station it will recognize whether it's in a start time currently and uh, we'll begin mowing as long as your automatic mode is switched on.